A proper fertilization plan will help make your lawn look its best. In this video, I'll show you how to dial in a fertilizer program advocated by industry leaders and professors of turf management. Before you begin to think about a fertility program for your lawn, the first thing you should do is figure out the square footage of the sections in your lawn. Then make a note or a map of your lawn for reference when you forget the size of each section. There are two good ways to find the square footage of your property. First, you can get out the tape measure and measure the lawn in sections, or you can use an online measurement tool like the Area Calculator from Sod Solutions. Now that you know the square footage of your lawn, it's time to think about fertilizer. If you've never really looked at a bag of fertilizer, there are a few things you should know that will help you along the way. First, you should ignore the statement on the bag that says this bag covers 5,000 square feet. That number tells you nothing. What you want to know is the weight of the bag and the numbers next to the three letters NPK. These are the percentages of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium by weight of the bag. So if you have a 3002, then your bag is 30% nitrogen by weight. Simply multiply the percentage by the weight of the bag to find out how much of the element is present. For example, with a 15 pound bag of 3002, multiply 0.3 times 15 and you'll see that you have 4.5 pounds of nitrogen in the bag. This is important to know because you can really dial in how much product you are applying to your lawn. A proven and effective fertility program for cool season lawns is to apply three to five pounds of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet a year. Of course, you don't want to apply it all at once. Also, there are specific times of the year when you want to apply your fertilizer. Apply one half to three quarters of a pound of nitrogen in March or April, then apply another one half to three quarters of a pound in May or June. Later in the summer, apply one pound in August, one pound in September, and another one to one and a half pounds in late fall. You want less nitrogen in the spring because your lawn will be growing vigorously regardless of any fertilizer you apply. You'll notice that in the spring, just about everyone's lawn is green and growing well no matter what they do. And that includes people that don't do anything to their lawns. Come July, you really need to dial down the fertilizer. Your lawn will be under a lot of stress and you just need to play defense. Then once temperatures drop in the late summer, you can start being aggressive with your nitrogen applications. A big question is, what fertilizer should I be buying? Well, there's a million types of fertilizers on the market. You have organics, synthetic organics, fast release organics, slow release organics, liquid fertilizers, water soluble nitrogen, and water insoluble nitrogen. So you might be wondering, how do I choose and which one should I apply? Well, it's mainly personal preference, but I like to use synthetic quick release fertilizers during the cooler parts of the year. While during the warmer parts of the year, I use organic slow release fertilizers like Melorganite. But like I said, it's really just personal preference and calculating and applying the correct amount at the right time of the year is more important. Another consideration when buying fertilizer is to pay attention to the amount of phosphorus. Phosphorus helps new plants develop its root system, which might sound good at first. However, using high phosphorus only helps new weeds with their underdeveloped root system. Applying a low phosphorus fertilizer can keep weeds and unwanted grasses out of your lawn by starving them. Only use high phosphorus fertilizers when seeding your lawn. The last macronutrient you'll see on a bag of fertilizer is potassium, and for the plant, this plays a role in water management. It helps regulate how much water and gas enters and exits the plant. This is why there are products like the 7020 stress blends that you would want to apply during the most stressful time of the year in midsummer. So overall, having a balanced fertility program, applying the right fertilizer in the correct amount during the right time of the year is a solid start to a nice looking lawn. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.